Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is the introduction for the Flash CS4 course for Paper Vision. Now, when I wrote the book, I had to decide if I was going to write a book full of nice, tidy examples, or one that was a little more messy that teaches you how to hack Paper Vision. And I decided to go the messy route, uh, the one that teaches you how to make Paper Vision better than it is. And along with this approach, I decided to release a number of video training courses designed to help you come up to speed on the various topics in the book. One of the problems of writing a book that's a little messy is it can be compressed in areas and you actually need a little, a little bit more. And uh, so I decided to do that and uh, on the book's website and on its blog as well I'm releasing these courses. So let's take a look and see what's in the course. Here's the introduction that we're doing now and then there's a code, I'll be doing that as well. But you can hit this download and grab the notes and code off of Google Code. There are 12 videos. The first one is on the interface. It's the basic interface for Flash CS4. The next one is on working with variables. The next one on working with functions. The fourth one is with adding button events. And once you learn how to work with events, of course the nat next natural thing to, to do is build an animation engine. And we'll show you the, basically the basics of how an animation engine works and how that's used in paper vision. Then the display list, which is extremely important, we have basically three videos on that. We talk about looping, specifically uh, looping for paper vision, which is basically the for loop, and we design a nice little spiral based upon the perspective scaling. We do conditionals, and uh, the two main conditionals are the if, else if statements, and then the switch case. And we teach you basically where all this is headed is to classes because, you know, Paper vision is very much class driven. And so we have two videos on getting started with classes one and two. Uh, in the first video, basically, we show you how to basically run classes using an instance method or using a document class. And in the next video, we show you how to add properties and methods and how to access those using dot syntax. Now that's 12 videos, and once you watch all these videos, you'll be up to speed for the book. The book was basically written for beginners and intermediate developers. And so even if you're brand new to Flash, these videos will bring you up to speed and you can start right at pace with the It's been a lot of fun doing this and we've got a, a number of video courses that we will be releasing in the next few weeks to help you come up to speed on the book.